Yeah. All right. UD's in the house here. Ultra Diamond Gill going against Ultra Diamond, but presumably Seth. Uh, be very curious to see if maybe the Colleen comes out here for an all Illuminati affair. I kind of doubt it, though, given how strong the Seth looked. Considering the ranges that Gil would want to play at, Gil can sit pretty at the far ranges, um, not wanting to. And also, like, at the toe kick range, uh, which is just in Colleen's uh, Stand Fierce range. Or, uh, Colleen Stand Fierce, in and out of V-Trigger, outstanding button. Although, uh, not in V-Trigger, she doesn't quite get much. She gets to, like, do... She, especially without EX meter, she pretty much just has to buffer that into heavy hands. Uh, and that's one. massive risk. But sticks with the what? set, as anticipated. There it is, that V-Skill 1, right outside that button range. Utilizing those plus frames. Big fan of the plus frames. First one thirty is. But finds the sweep that he needs to get his way forward. Whoa! Interesting that that's what she gets. That's what Seth gets from Gil. Is the knee drop. But can't use it properly because he's getting dropped into point deficit here. Nice toe kick to close things out. For the first round. First blood. Plus no DK. Boy, yeah, less than 25 seconds to make that first round as well. Not sure what happened, but I looked away for a moment and suddenly Ustin ODJ had the stun. Oh boy, no. What? No punish there on the minus six situation. Back throw. Could be a matchup situation too. Not a lot of guild players here, so not a lot of data to gather. Oh, okay, here we go though. Getting that six frame button. Maximum punish. Damage is the only data that matters in a match like this, all right? Just do the damage. Finds the axe kick. Finds the axe kick. Roll into the stun. And that's is this? Be it, I do believe. Yeah. Definitely. Could oh, the greed. Wow. The greed. Verse Absolute. 130. Man yeah. after my own heart here had the full bog. Many dollars to spend and decided to keep every cent of it. That's no TJ opens right out the gates. Sick of this, but verse 130 responds with a super. Going to be playing from a pretty large death or life lead. Oh. Try to find the punish. Full sweep. Full send. EX fireball. Wow, walk a parry just like that. Ustin ODJ really trying to uh, lean on the hard reads. Oh, but getting clipped now. V skill. Lost frames. Lost frames actually caught that time. Yeah, Ustin ODJ caught trying to press a button to interrupt the startup of the Tatsu spin. Wow, dash up into throw, not twice, not three three times, and an attempted yeah. fourth. My goodness. Is there no respect from this Seth player? Come on, Seth it's a Seth. Wins. That was a rhetorical question. You are respecting them. No matter what. You will respect me. But there we go. First point on the board for verse 130 man and first 130 pulls this up round undefeated one. that'll be insane first time in round robin this dominating of a presence yeah truly something to behold here verse 130 really just again leaning on the gas hard here wants in is staying in and really just won't take no for an answer how will anyone try and keep this one out Offense on the side of Gil here, trying to keep things going. Oh, but <laughs> the knee drop, stolen V skill. Oh, okay, no punish though. Probably minus a little bit there on the EX Tatsu. Oh. Very real nice. What are your plus frames? Retribution knockdown, backs them up into the corner, but actually does the EX bust out. Of course, were you not expecting it? They had the bar. Slide into activate now, verse 130. Ooh, extremely advantageous position here. More plus frames to boot. He catches the toes. Yeah, just throws that button out there, locking him out. Utilizing those plus frames, but also locking that movement option. Oh, nice. Stuff the B skill one. But take some hands for his troubles. Goodness, and asking the really big questions here. What is neutral? Is it just a concept? Must seem like it. Pressing the big buttons, getting the V skills going here. Oh, here we go though. EX Fireball activation. This could be the turnaround. One thing you gotta understand, Dragmuffin. This is Street Fighter 5. 
rushed out his... Ooh! Nice! Yeah, and a hard knockdown off the overhead there. Retribution style. Oh no! Slide into activate on the other side! Right here, plus frames, finds that into the Tatsu. Extension. Oh my goodness. And almost even plus had the meter build up for Super there. Was definitely plus looking for it. Shit! Your reverse. Ooh, parody! Oh, but didn't quite have the punish at the ready, but didn't even matter! Because he gets the crouch medium punch into the activation, into Yo. the round win. Okay, okay, oh, okay. Man. Okay, first spent all that far. Doesn't have to worry about it. There we go. Anti-air into the hard knockdown with the corner. Press this advantage. Give them no corner. Overhead. Oh, man. Caught. Nice. Wow. Press the That's an ODJ. In the previous round with the inspirational, absolutely inspirational parry there. It's got me thinking about all sorts of other possibilities. Can you maybe parry Seth's V skill? It looks like a suck, but you know, the super also looked like a suck, a suck and he parried that too. You know, I think you can. It is a I mean, strike. I know that you could, uh, you could, you could do it to, um, like, uh, Ed's V skill. Oh, man. Yeah, blowing my mind here. Ustin ODJ taking game two there to even it up so far. First one to put some breaks on verse 130's Reign of Terror here. The pain train may be encountering a couple bumps in the track. We're gonna see whether or not Ustin ODJ can figure out a way to keep this momentum going on their side and derail the previously undefeated track record of verse 130. Oh, tosses right through the fireball. Dashes in, dashes back, trying to provoke a response. He sticks out. The Chun Li staying fierce, Blunton. The new stand fierce. Oh, that stun is looking pretty high. Yeah, an unchecked dash there into the crouch, medium punch. Oh. Doing work here for verse 130. Oh, okay, here we go, though. Nice caught with the button. Counter hit conversion. Looking pretty massive. Retribution. Yeah. And no! Saw the start up of the the fear reversal as well. Beautiful response there. Ustin ODJ almost certainly going to be able to close this one out, right? Oh, maybe not. Scaling a little too high here. Oh, just goes for the nice, nice kill frame situation he had set up there with the knee drop. Okay, Ustin ODJ has the opportunity to humble verse 130 a little bit. Oh no, can't parry that late. Gotta say, with this offense here, I don't know this looks like a humbled verse 130. In fact, sticking to their usual game plan of RTSD. Oh, okay. Jab interrupt on the heavy Tatsu. Okay. Still time. Retribution. Damage looking crazy. That is unscaled. Unaffected by that V trigger. Stun's looking pretty high. Just trying to find it. Oh no. Swept into activate. This could be very, very dead. Well, this, you know, it is dangerous because now verse 130 is that set point for themselves. Yeah, so spending that the cash there. Them. Can't say I disagree. Absolutely a good idea to close it out when you have the opportunity to do so. Verse 130 putting himself at set point as well. Run. Yeah, RTSD right there. Full send from round start. What you got to do? Boom! Into the seraphic wing. Get a massive damage lead. Nicely done. Whiff punish there on the stand heavy kick. Ustin ODJ really finding some good holes here and uh, timings to press the buttons. Wow, even pressing button after minus there? No kidding. Frames are a social construct, okay? When you're fishing for respect, you gotta do the unfair. Right. First showing off a pretty cool combo there with the EX Tatsu. Getting a little side switch by dropping the damage, but Austin ODJ still coming out on top. Crouch medium punch. Getting the hit. Closing the round. It's 2-1 in Gil's favor.